All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about 13 remote jobs that you can do at night. And these are not gonna be jobs that require a college degree or previous experience. Most of these jobs you can get into no matter what position you're in right now. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it right now with number one on the list, which is gonna be after hours coordinator. And this is typically an individual responsible for overseeing and managing activities or operations operations during non-standard working hours. These are going to be times like evenings, nights, or weekends. And they basically ensure that essential tasks, services, or events run smoothly outside of regular business hours. And a lot of the time, these types of positions are going to be in the healthcare field. So what you'd be doing is taking sick calls, filling staff shortages, dealing with disciplinary issues, dealing with emergencies, and dealing with patient flow issues such as admissions and discharges. And after-hour coordinators typically make about thirty-nine to $58,000 a year. So some of the skills required for this are going to be effective communication skills, organizational skills, problem solving skills, and the ability to handle emergencies. So basically, you're going to have a lot of downtime in this position, but things might happen all of a sudden that are going to require you to take action. So overall, this is a pretty good one, relatively easy to get into as well. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen right now. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, guys, there's tons of of room on YouTube for people who are in these different positions to kind of talk about their job. And I honestly think this is one of the most untapped niches on YouTube. Usually the only channels that talk about their jobs are like software engineers or something like that. You can talk about your job in these positions, help other people get into the job and make a ton of money doing it. And this is exactly what I've taught many people to do in my YouTube coaching program. And this is why I already have a ton of testimonials from super happy clients. Now I can only accept a few clients right now, but if you'd like to apply for YouTube coaching, and you're really serious about doing it, you can check out my link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a remote assistance specialist. And this is very similar to customer service representative, but for one, it's usually going to be in the wee hours of the night. And for two, it's usually more emergency type situations. So they tend to get paid better than customer service representatives do. To be exact, about 47 to $64,000 a year. Here are some job opportunities you can check out, pause it if you'd like. I'll put them up on the screen right now. And yeah, this is another one that's super easy to get into. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. All you basically need is a computer and the ability to learn how to use basic software. So this is another really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is gonna be a bit harder to get into and that's gonna be a support engineer. So this one's gonna be for people who spent some time in the technology industry already and you already have some skills. I live for this. And by the way, if you wanna get into the technology industry in the fastest and easiest way possible, you can definitely check out the free IT help desk course from Course Careers. I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten jobs using Course Careers. And there's people that have been able to get an IT help desk job in as little as seven days and 10 days. But yeah, back to support engineer. Basically what you're doing here is you're designing computer systems that can be easily maintained and repaired. Please. And basically support engineers provide ongoing assistance in keeping computer systems working and their users happy. And you make about 63 dollars to $106,000 a year. So some skills you're going to need for this one are, of course, technical and software knowledge, verbal communication and listening skills, problem solving and critical thinking under pressure, and time management and multitasking skills. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And overall, because of the fact that this one's a bit harder to get into, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be a logistics specialist. And in this position, you're basically going to be the linchpin connecting customers, field inspectors, and internal teams. Your mission? To ensure smooth operations and exceptional service, even in hurricanes, tornadoes, and other weather catastrophes. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Right, you're almost like the air traffic controller of operations, guiding resources where they're needed with precision and ease. And most of the time, planning for logistics actually happens in the middle of the night. And the reason for this is because that's just before trucks start leaving the warehouses. And a great quote from Napoleon, which I'm about to go see this Napoleon movie, so I really hope it ends up being good, is the amateurs discuss tactics, the professionals discuss logistics. And logistics specialists make about 48 to $74,000 a year. So some of the skills you're gonna need for this one are communication, attention to detail, strong computer proficiency, critical thinking and problem solving skills, and the ability to negotiate. Now, a lot of the time people get into logistics after they spent 
a couple of years in customer service, but in some positions, you actually don't need any experience or a college degree at all. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next one on the list is an overnight travel concierge. How may I help you? And basically, these are people who typically work with like rich people or executives, and you're not just going to be booking flights for them on their travels, but you're also going to be orchestrating everything else for them. So where they're going to be going, how they get from point A to point B. So you're going to be making sure they have transportation, making sure they're eating at really good restaurants and seeing really good sites if that's what they're trying to do and booking all of it for them. Now, in this position, you typically make about 36 to $57,000 a year. But because of the fact that you're doing it overnight, you're typically going to make a little more than that. This is also a super easy one to get into. It's especially good if you're already passionate about traveling. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen right now. I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a sports trading analyst. In this position, you're going to be analyzing sports data to make informed decisions, typically for betting purposes. You're also going to be contributing to competitor or industry analysis, and you may be carrying out customer service responsibilities in some cases. And fun fact, the earliest form of sports betting actually dates back to the ancient Greeks and the Olympics, where they would basically add on an extra layer of excitement by betting on the Olympic Games. Now, sports analysts make about 46 to $81,000 a year. And of course, the only prerequisite for this is you need to be someone who actually watches a lot of the sports, of course, so that you can kind of understand how they work. Here's an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen. You can check it out. And overall, this one is pretty niche. So I'm going to give it an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a tax preparer. And yes, there's actually a lot of opportunities for overnight jobs in this position. And basically, you're going to be assisting individuals and businesses in organizing and filing their taxes to ensure compliance with tax laws. And in this position, you make about forty-two dollars to $64,000 a year. And it's very easy to get into as well. You don't really need any previous experience, previous skills, or a college degree. However, it does get very busy during tax season. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. There's always a catch. So yeah. Yeah, this one's a pretty good one. Lots of opportunities here. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment below which job in this video that you've seen that you actually like and you could picture yourself doing. And maybe I'll make more videos about that job. Next on the list is going to be an overnight data entry clerk. And this is basically an administrative employee that manages clerical tasks related to entering and updating data in a computer system. Now, the salary here for data entry clerks is about thirty-four dollars to $47,000 a year. But typically, if you work overnight, night, you can make even more than that. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, this one is going to be one of the lower paying ones, but it's also super easy to get into. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be a fraud specialist. And this is someone who investigates and sometimes prevents fraudulent activities in industries such as finance, insurance, and e-commerce. They analyze data, identify patterns, and use software to detect fraudulent activities. And a fun fact here is, did you know that the first case of credit card fraud happened in the 1950s. Whoa. And of course, ever since then, it's been a cat and mouse game. And there are a lot of opportunities for overnight positions. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 40 to $59,000 a year. So this is one that does require a bit more skill than some of the other positions. It's still relatively easy to get into though. You know, you'd probably want to be somebody who kind of likes to do puzzles. You like problem solving. There's also some certifications you can get like the CFE or certified fraud examiner certification that will help you to land a job. But yeah, this one is pretty good. There's also lots of room for career growth on top of this one, which some of the other ones like data entry, for instance, there's not that much room for career growth. So for that reason, I will give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be a donor eligibility coordinator. And this is someone who makes sure that potential donors meet the necessary health and eligibility criteria to contribute to life saving causes. What do you think is coursing through my veins right now? Cheese whiz. And there are many overnight positions available for this. And eligibility coordinators make about 40 Three to $68,000 a year. So this is another one that's relatively easy to get into. Don't need a college degree. In many cases, don't need any previous experience. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. So I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a Facebook ad specialist or really any type of media buyer. In this particular case, I'm going to use Facebook as the example, but it could be Google ads or YouTube ads or TikTok ads, etc. And basically, this is kind of like the maestro of online advertising 
advertising that strategically places ads to target specific audiences on the world's biggest social media platform. Now, the range of pay here is going to vary greatly, but Facebook ads managers typically make about forty-six to seventy-five thousand dollars a year. However, if you're more skilled, you can make much, much more than that. And there's a lot of opportunities for freelancing or even starting your own business. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Now, I really like this one, honestly, because sure, like the pay might be a little bit low when you first start, but there's just so much room for upward growth here. And it's relatively easy to get into. You can get into this one without any previous experience and without a college degree. Many, many people have. I've actually interviewed a lot of them on this channel. However, you do have to have some basic skills. So you're going to need to study up on how to actually do Facebook ads. And then you're going to need to make some kind of portfolio to prove that you have those skills. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Lots of opportunities for remote jobs at night. Next one is going to be a sales assistant. And this is somebody who basically handles inquiries, processes orders, and assists the sales team with things that happen late at night. So this is typically going to be for higher ticket products. So for example, in tech sales, you might be selling like million dollar contracts and a company that you're trying to sell this million dollar contract to may email you or message you or even call you in the middle of the night. And it just looks better if you have someone there to take care of the inquiry. The amount will be $50 million. $50 million? Or at the very least, they can note it down and make sure that somebody follows up with them first thing in the morning. Okay, I'm listening. Let me get a pen. These are those little things that can really make the difference when it comes to actually closing the sale. And sales assistants make about $35,000 to $60,000 a year, and it's a really good gateway to get into better sales jobs. And you absolutely do not have to have a degree or previous experience to get into this role. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. This one, I'm going to give an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10 because the ceiling for sales is literally millions of dollars a year. By the way, if you want to see 19 more work from home jobs that you can actually do at night, I did make a video on that. It went semi-viral and you can check that out by clicking right here.